What up bros, let's make some wacky intros. No, but seriously. Today I'll be trying to steal off my own video idea with making the cavalry only and I'll try the artillery only. Now artillery only will be expensive so I can't really do it with a small nation. I'm still wondering a bit who I should take and I think I will decide to take Austria because usually they do really bad. So I'm gonna make them good. Now as last time as cavalry I won't just delete all my other units, I'll just not use them. I'll just put them on cities and I'll let them die. That seems a bit cruel, but easiest way. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's get some good artillery generals. And again, I'll have the very abused generals. <laughs> so the ones which I'll be calling ugly ducklings. So I'll... <laughs> Look at this ugly Carl again. <laughs> I'm gonna stop abusing him, he got enough last video, that was brutal. <laughs> Hashtag stop Carl abuse. So first of all I have to somehow increase Budapest, otherwise I can't build the real good artillery, which is the rocket artillery. So that cost me all my money. I am done. End the turn. And I'm... Oh no, they took my cover. <laughs> they took my cannon place here. I just left it undefended. How not smart for me. Okay, he didn't move away. Well, I'm quickly going to attack this, this cannon plant building site because I just have to. So I got it now. Oh wait, I may not build a unit in Budapest. Can I get somebody? No, I can't. I'm... Oh, well, I said I wouldn't attack. Well, I hope they don't have enough to grab Budapest this turn. So I'm trying to continue to bash these guys out. Where's Carl? Carl! Carl! If anybody knows that. Same old problems as with cavalry, only just by beginning army is absolutely useless. I mean, if I've died in 1798, it would have been really easy, but I, I somehow don't really want to roll them, just make it too easy. It should also be a bit of a challenge. Like now, for example, the poles join, it's gonna be a bit of pain. This whole challenge, I, I'm pretty sure, is going to show me how actually weak um, the cannons are. I'm going to grab Berlin, even though my Napoleon will get, be, get severely injured, but I need some Mula. Some Mula, So my hope is just that I'm going to help the, Turk, uh, the, the, the Russians quite a bit. So they can then go on and defeat the Ottomans, but somehow they're not actually doing a good job. Rusha, please help. We need to defeat Poland soon. Poland is going to lose a lot of territory because I can't really build units and cities. That's the biggest problem already in the last challenge. You, oh crap, I attacked the wrong unit. Just, uh, the Poles should fall really soon and then I'm probably in an okay position. And I forgot to move my top Napoleon away, so he's dead too. We should have taken a nation, we should have a lot of time to build up and then I could have done well. Well, I, oh, did I lose Vienna? Yep, that's a struggle because I can't build any new units. Now I have overpopulation, I'm gonna just sacrifice him. Just die. But I'm still hoping just to. My allies. To, oh, Prussia fell. I mean, Prussia and Austria fell, so it's kind of a. Uh, Austria. And Poland fell, so it's kind of a trade off, I guess. Usually artillery looks a lot better if there's a lot of units around them, that's the problem. I don't I, I only have artillery this time. So I'm also still economically doing super weak. I kinda need somebody to pull this out for me. I don't know who exactly should, but no, it's not really not looking good. Well this could be a first fail in quite some time. I've uh, passed quite a lot of missions, so let's have a look. Look at the sort of damage with most of my units with really strong general that can do like let's say 100 to 200 damage maximum. Now I'm just kind of stuck with these weak ass boys. I mean I can go grab one city here and one there but still it's just long term it's going to be a very bad situation. But I at least grabbed Vienna back. Still. Because I'm very sure I underestimated this, the difficulty of this whole task. Maybe we would have to, to I don't know. 
I'm long term gonna lose here. I'm gonna try to boost Sweden somehow over the line. Because they're actually doing really well. Actually, this Sweden could do the break and Italy at the same time get Rome. I might not be so negative anymore, but they're still having trouble getting Rome. I can't even build a new unit. They're too expensive. Yeah, that confirmed my whole theory that artillery is really bad. I mean, if I would do an infantry on it, would be super easy. Because infantry is just strong and useful. Meanwhile, artillery. I even managed to do a cavalry only, but yeah, like I said, artillery only. Well, my sacrifice maybe might get my allies over the line, but I myself, I am not gonna make it. It's just impossible. They would have to just totally <laughs> forget I even exist. And they will not because they're resending armies after armies here. Now the Russians are even falling now. That's. I mean, Sweden's doing really well in England, okay, but the rest is done. Well. Only some cannony boys won't do it. I lost. I am a little astonished how easy that went for the uh, for the enemies. I also took a country just rather hard to play, to be honest. But I, I wanted it to be a challenge. It was a challenge, and I miserably failed. <laughs> if you guys like watching me fail and sometimes just do well, then like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, do everything what you what's the normal things on YouTube to do. And thank you for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.